Hey guys, I hope you're well. In today's video, we'll be talking about two technologies, LTEM and narrowband IoT, which are types of mobile IoT technologies. Mobile IoT is also known as cellular IoT. Both of these technologies use the 4G LTE mobile network for connectivity. Now to understand the difference, the basic difference between these two technologies, we need to think about the use cases that these technologies enable. LTEM is for use cases where higher bit rates are required, for example, emergency services where you may need voice messages. For that, you need bigger bandwidths, bigger channel bandwidth. Narrowband IoT, on the other hand, is needed for use cases where low bit rates are required, for example, car park sensors where basic text-based or control information is required. Both of these technologies are LPWA technologies, so low-powered, wide-area technologies. LTEM is an IoT technology based on the 4G LTE networks. LTEM is different from the GSM-based 2G technology, IoT 2G technology, ECGSM IoT, in that it is suitable for use cases where a higher bit rate is required for real-time scenarios, for example, patient monitoring in hospitals and homes. LTEM can enable bit rates of up to 1 Mbps megabits per second in both uplink and downlink with a bandwidth of around 1.080 MHz. What does that mean? It's a bigger bandwidth. The battery life for devices that support LTEM is about 10 years, so a decade. LTEM can support voice and data both, and use cases include traffic lights, parking sensors, and smart cities. So as you can see, these are all the use cases where you need higher bit rates. NB-IoT or narrowband IoT is also based on 4G LTE technology, uh, but there are of course differences. So just like the 2G-based IoT technology ECGSM, narrowband IoT is designed for non-real-time use cases where a slight delay in the communication is acceptable. For example, your energy meter, where a delay of a few seconds or even minutes is not that big a deal. Narrowband IoT has multiple categories. Category NB1 can offer peak downlink data rates, so download data rates, of up to 226.7 kilobits per second, whereas Category NB2 can offer peak downlink data rates of up to 282 kilobits per second. Narrowband IoT, as the name suggests, employs low bandwidth, of 180 kilohertz. Now that's a very small bandwidth. Now if you recall in LTEM the bandwidth was around 1.08 megahertz. This is 180 kilohertz, so a lot smaller. Now of course it raises a question as to which one is better. Should you use LTEM or narrowband IoT? The LTEM or LTE for machines technology can support most IoT use cases. However, the choice of the technology depends on the target use cases. LTEM offers lower latencies and higher data rates, making it a perfect choice for use cases where you need real-time communication, for example, emergencies, etc. The narrowband IoT technology uses smaller bandwidths, hence the word narrowband, and therefore it offers lower data rates, offering wider coverage, but it is not suitable for real-time communications. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I've written a detailed post on this topic, and the link is in the description. If you like this video, please hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm posting new videos all the time.